These dogs were caught on cam escaping from a home and what happened next was terrifying. Neighbors tell us this wasn't the first time and they want answers. Our LEX 18 investigates team looked into the matter. Here's Lee Searcy. Saturday, March 5th, a security camera captured Sarah Bokacheski walking down Glendover Road in Lexington. We want to warn you, what happens next is disturbing. As she walks out of view, you see one dog escape from a house across the street, followed by another dog. Then this happens. She says that attack lasted only seconds, but left her with 30 bite wounds up and down both legs. Knocked me down. I went on my hands and knees and they started attacking from the back, biting, shaking, tearing, things like that. It probably lasted about 20 seconds before the gentleman, um, Albert, was able to come back and scare the dogs off. 30 wounds in about 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yes. That fast. Very fast. Bokashevsky believes if her neighbor didn't help her, she would not have been able to fend off the dogs by herself. I think I would have been kept on the ground and I, they probably would have moved further up. And I almost shudder to think what else could have happened in another 10 seconds. She says what happened so quickly has been escalating for a year. I want to know really where the ball's been dropped because I'm about the seventh person who's been attacked. Court records show since last April, Lexington Fayette County Animal Care and Control has cited the dog's owner, James Pelfrey, seven times. Five of those for his dogs allegedly biting people or their pets. The charge for those? Nuisance created by animals, a misdemeanor with a fine. This was not a nuisance. This was sheer terror. And records show that of the seven dog-related cases against Pelfrey over the past year, four were dismissed. The county attorney's office has said their hands have been tied because this never gets to trial because apparently this man can't go to trial. She's talking about this email from an assistant Fayette County attorney who wrote, Pelfrey had been found incompetent in the past and added when that happens, a person is immune from criminal prosecution. I mean, these dogs have terrorized this neighborhood for a long time. According to court records, Pelfrey had three different dogs that were involved in attacks. Animal Control says one of them was euthanized last year when no one came and got it after the holding period was up in a separate case. The other two dogs, the one seen here in Bogoshevsky's situation, are now being held pending the outcome of her case. She's wondering why the dogs weren't seized long before her attack. It could have been done, and it should have been done. If, if the dogs were seized uh, prior to that, uh, then this last incident may not have ever occurred. That's Chief Nathan Bowling with Lexington Fayette County Animal Care and Control. He's also frustrated by the situation. I can seize and hold animals at the, the, my legal holding time as long as I can. But beyond that, once the courts rule on it, then my hands are tied. I want to know where the responsibility lies. And so do other neighbors. This is a street where the elementary school right down the street um, the, the church has a, a daycare. Andy Mead, the president of the Southern Heights Neighborhood Association, says there have been more attacks than reported. He thinks public safety has to be a priority. The resident of the house has been found incompetent to stand trial, but still allowed to have dogs. I've been deemed incompetent by Easter State. That's Pelfrey at his recent arraignment, talking about his previous cases. But the judge in his current one said that he would have to be reevaluated for competence. Like Bogoshevsky, Mead and others in the neighborhood question why something wasn't done sooner. In one of the recent letters I have from one of the county attorneys, uh, she says that they're, they're looking at the, the, the animal laws, animal control laws, to see if they can find something to do. Um, it seems like they would have done that some time ago. We tried to ask Fayette County Attorney Larry Roberts about Bogoshevsky's case, but he told us he doesn't talk about pending ones, and he refused to answer our questions about the previous cases. Mr. Pelfrey, 
We caught up with Pelfrey after his arraignment in Bogoshevsky's case to ask him why he hasn't contained his dogs. He told us many times he wasn't at home. Well, what do you say to people who don't feel safe walking down the street, don't, don't feel walk, safe? Don't near my house. Get on the other <laughs> side of the street. We've learned Pelfrey recently moved from the neighborhood. I'm glad for us that it's over. I'm hoping for us that it's over. But I, I do really think it will just show up in another neighborhood in Lexington unless something is done. I want everybody to feel safe walking on the street and being outside. We all love to be outside when it's beautiful in Lexington. And everybody should be able to do that and not worry about these dogs coming out and, and attacking uh -huh. either themselves, their children, or their pets. Lee is here with us now. So a question some probably have, uh, what's going to happen to these dogs? Will the owner get them back again? Well, Larry, that's a good question. That depends on what happens in court. They're still being held by animal control until the case is resolved. And until that happens, we won't know if the dogs will be seized, put down, or released. I can tell you that Sarah Bogoshevsky says an assistant county attorney contacted her just last week indicating that charges against the dog's owner could actually be upgraded. Mm -hmm. A lot of issues here. There seems to be questions about what can legally be done in cases like these. Well, there are a lot of questions, and uh, we still have many, many questions. Could more have been done in this, these cases, or do the laws on dog attacks make it hard for officials to handle cases like this? We can tell you, though, even though the owner has moved from this neighborhood, the neighbors we talked to are worried that this could happen somewhere else, and they don't want that to happen and we are not done looking into the story. Yeah, certainly keep us posted on how this comes out. Lee Searcy, thank you.